Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. On Friday, October 20th at 1224 a.m. Mountain Time 2017. What we're looking at here is the seismic progression under Cumbre Vieja Volcano La Palma. This is underneath the subsurface and how the earthquakes have ticked off starting on the 7th of October. Now, this lower southern portion is the portion, and these are all the earthquakes you can see here, that is has the mega tsunami risk of collapsing into the Atlantic and sending mega tsunamis to the east coast and all around the ram of the Atlantic. And there's the swarm. Now, there was a small uptick yesterday, and what seismologists are now saying is they have data on the surface here, and the surface has risen 3.5 centimeters this year, which is clear evidence of magma building right in this zone. And that's the unfortunate thing, that this is, is moving. There is uplift at the surface because of this activity. And it's a heads up because if this continues, I would say give it, we wouldn't have to worry unless there was another eight centimeters. So 3.5 isn't that much, but if it continues to swell and this uptick continues, um, we'll keep an eye on it. There is no warning right now for anything catastrophic. So anything that happened catastrophically currently would have to, the uptick would have to be so rapid we would be unaware. But in a normal scenario with magma chambers this large, uh, we're going to have some warning, at least a few days. We'll see the uptick. It'll increase drastically. There'll be massive ground swelling. We'll see the ground rise at least a foot or several feet before the collapse, and then it will happen. So people will have time to evacuate. Stranger things have happened where catastrophes and volcanic events have been way more rapid than thought. But I think in this case, we'll have a few days. Well, right now, they're currently, it's a very low probability, but the seismic uptick is continuing. Um, as you can see here, a run through on the left side here of the seismicity starting Yeah, so there it is. This is a fascinating three-day. I thought I'd share it with you. We're going to run down more Grand Solar Minimum update today. Uh, less volcanoes. So that's La Palma. I'll leave you links to the article. Fresh tremor felt under Cumbre Vieja. And let's move on to the cold part. Lots of buzzes flying around the web on snow totals for the Northwest this week. Look at this, guys. It's only October. 7 to 10 feet of snow forecast. Have you ever heard of such a fucking thing? I, I'm not from the Sierras, but holy shit. Look at this. These are feet. They had to change the scale from inches to feet in October. I'm not shitting you. This goes up to, this scale goes to 40 feet. 40 fucking feet in October. 7 to 10 feet projected. Take a look here, just in the Washington area, we're looking for two, three, four feet in the next two days. Four feet in this area. Coming all the way down into California, I'm going to give an 18-inch total here in Northern California. And you're looking at uh, 14 to 18, 18 to 20. Yeah, all the way up to 30 inches. Let's go two and a half feet here in uh, Northwest Cascadia, but this shit is going to be crazy. Quick look, uh, this is through early Sunday, just the next few days. Three feet in the next few days up there, 
look at this flooding in Spain. This is becoming pervasive. It's easy to find articles about flooding. This cannot be good for the grain crops in Spain. I know they're growing tons of grain right now there. That is not going to be good. Um, as far as fireballs, I posted two near-Earth objects yesterday in the last update. and Or maybe that was two days ago. But we're going into the Tarids here, and there are fireballs everywhere. Here's a daylight meteor observed in Long Island on the 18th, lasting up to 7.5 seconds. Another bright object, fireball sonic boom over Sri Lanka. That was today, well, yesterday, however you're looking at it. Numerous people from southern province of the country reported a loud expo explosion associated with the event, while residents along the Matara coast say they witnessed an object emitting a bright light and falling into the sea off the coast. So guys, this is a heads up. If this object was any bigger and hit the ocean, I showed you the hypothetical of what would happen. So we have a double tsunami heads up on flying objects, more flooding here in the Philippines, Negros Oriental in the Filipinos. This is crazy. This is not good for their harvest. Models suggesting significant windstorm is about to hit the island and UK. And with this uh, La Nina forming and the Grand Solar Minimum, the UK is supposed to be buried this year in snow. So big storm coming there. The Great Shakeout, world's largest earthquake drill, helping millions to prepare for a disaster, which I think that they know is about to happen. That's why these earthquake drills are happening all over the country. We talked about La Palma. I'll leave you links to that. The U.S. government underestimated solar energy installation in the U.S. by 4,813%. Well, now that's not a surprise. I have uh, 14 kilowatts right outside right now that we're installing. It's enough to run a small town. But what's happening around the country and near here is the energy suppliers are fighting back against solar and putting restrictions. They're price fixing. In Florida, I saw uh, a report that it's illegal to be off grid if the grid is down. That is absolutely crazy, and that's where we're headed, folks. So it's a heads up. Get yourself some solar. Get off grid. Get sustainable. Get safe. <clears throat> Why is all this flooding happening? Well, physicists claim for. Further evidence of a link between cosmic rays and cloud formation. There's a link between cosmic rays and cloud formation. And in the last two years, cosmic rays have increased 13%. And physicists claim further evidence of a link between cosmic rays and cloud formation. And did you know that solar activity has a direct impact on the Earth's cloud cover? Because we proved this with the work of Svensmark. And the cloud project at CERN, for God's sakes, that when you increase cosmic rays, you increase cloud nucleation and you increase flooding. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do so now. Share this video with like-minded people. We're going into a cold period because of cosmic ray flux, because of increased cloud nucleation, because of increased albedo effect. Get the facts. Be safe, everyone.